a bunch of cheaters over there. You should have all waited in line. Oh, you should be back yonder. You should have all waited in line. Oh, we can't be perfect. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Travis and my wife Stacy and I go to yard sales, garage sales, rummage sales, and we look for undervalued items to flip for a profit on eBay. So today going to a couple of rummage sales, um, just entered this one. Gonna kinda let the footage roll a little bit, check out everything that we have here. But if you guys do see something that maybe I miss, uh, please leave a comment down below so we can all learn together. Over here on the Christmas table, I noticed this snowman. Looks older, vintage. It's made by a company called Occasions, and it's like a light-up snowman. I was going to pick it up, but the battery terminals inside were just shot. Um, they must have left batteries in there, and they got all rusted out. But I would have picked that up if it was in better condition. <laughs> Hey, did you see all the Christmas stuff? Coming over here, checking out all the media. So looking through the DVDs, seeing if I can find anything. Um, maybe any video games or like CDs that I can lot together. I'm also gonna check out the CD case right here. Um, you know, a lot of times, you know, the CD cases are empty or they might have some CDs in them um, or they might have video games in them. So I always check CD cases just in case they might have video games in them. We still have a few donuts back here for coffee. And then as I'm looking over here, I notice underneath the table, always look underneath the table, guys. Um, there's a lot of yarn here. Looks like they're like team colors for sports teams, and there's a lot of them. So we've done pretty good with yarn. It really depends on, you know, which type of yarn it is, maybe the color pattern, but um, we've had really good luck with it. So we're gonna go through these yarn skeins and see if there's anything worth picking up. All right, you take a look here, I'm gonna keep cruising. So I come back over, I find Stacy. She's going through the yarn. So I wanna come over and look at this other side of the table, which they have all this yarn like in, it looks like in the original packaging. So I'm just kind of looking for anything that kind of stands out. And then in the very bottom, there's like this cotton candy colored yarn. Um, looks older, vintage, but you know, it's all together. But when we ended up comping a lot of these yarns out, they weren't really selling for that much, even in bundles and lots. So. We had to pass on them, but in the future, you know, just keep in mind that yarn can be valuable. So if you do see some, comp it out, especially if there's a whole bunch of them and you can list it and sell it that way in bundles. We're, we're gonna get everything we need, darling. That's right. You do too. And the place in heaven also. Yes. Oh dear. I I I grew, up, I, I, grew, I grew up with Steve Spurrier to come to the Florida That's all right. That's all right. You can do that. People. You can do that. So that was an interesting conversation that was going on. There was an insane amount of people waiting to get into this rummage sale. It, it was the most people that I've ever seen waiting, and I was just, I was in shock. I, I couldn't believe it, how many people wanted to come 
to this rummage sale. So I don't know what was going on. This is like a popular rummage sale, but um, people were upset that people were kind of cutting the line and getting in front of people because there was there was different entrances to get into it. So people were upset about that. But anyways, um, just entered, gonna kind of go through some stuff, let the footage roll. Uh, if you guys see anything, let me know. <laughs> to where the breakable items are where they have like a lot of plates cups bowls you know china stuff like that and i noticed this corel Ware. this is the butterfly gold pattern which is a pretty popular pattern had a lot of plates some cups some bowls and i think they wanted 35 dollars for all of it which is a good price if you're buying it for yourself but we only pick up corel to resell if it's a really good deal and that's because it takes a long time to pack breakable items and you use a lot of packing materials to make sure that those items are protected during shipping so all of that kind of factors into our decision if we're going to pick something up or not so ultimately we decided to pass on it because it was just a little too much for us to get into <laughs> So after I was done looking at the Butterfly Gold, I noticed this blue Wedgwood Jasperware that's on the table right there, but unfortunately it was already sold. If you guys do see Wedgwood Jasperware in the wild, it's usually pretty good to pick up, always comp it out, because some pieces can go for more than others. And if you guys see the pink or lilac versions, those are big bolos, so definitely pick those up. <laughs> Stacy finds these Sorel Caribou winter boots. Look like they're in pretty good shape. Um, Sorel's a good company to look out for for boots. So if you guys do see Sorel out there, you know, definitely comp them out because they can be valuable. Knock everything out. Excuse me, I'm sorry. 
Oh, this one. The ivy. The antique doll. Franciscan earthenware. So I was taking a look at this earthenware, like this Franciscan ivy pattern, and some of them were selling for a decent amount. Um, but there was just too many that were listed versus how many were sold, so didn't give me a great feeling. And the condition of them just weren't that great. Uh -huh. Chipped here. See? It's chipped. Chipped here too. Chipped on that one as well. A lot of, a lot of chips on these. That doesn't sound good. Four dollars a set. Hello. Hi. We're gonna get this set. Okay. Thank you, Miss. We've picked up some Mary Engelbright things in the past, like little figurines, some dishes, and Stacy found all of these books, these Mary Engelbright books. So there's quite a few of them. I think we're just gonna grab them all and then just lot them up and sell them that way. Can I put these books in the bag? Do, do, you, do you, want, you want that? This? In the book? Five hardcover books. <laughs> All right, that's it. Okay. Okay, so eight dollars or on anything. What's the price? Five. Hi, how are you? Five and six and eleven. Eleven dollars. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.